This film explains the transition in process for the European Train Control System, or ETCS. For ETCS and ATO to operate, Level 2 must not have been inhibited as part of the data entry. To enable Level 2, select the Level Inhibit icon, followed by the Enable Level 2 icon. After confirming the action by selecting the Submit Data icon, the L2 cross icon will disappear, then complete data entry as normal. Before setting off, check that the National System Mode icon is displayed. There is two-way communication between the signal box and the radio block centre at all times, ready to connect any train in the area to enable transition into ETCS Level 2. When a train runs over the first group of Belize's within the NTC area, which is the conventional signalling method TPWS-AWS, it will connect to the Radio Block Centre, or RBC, using GSM-R. Once connected to the RBC, the RBC connection icon is displayed on the DMI. The train will always link to the RBC via the nearest GSM-R tower. After passing the second Belize group, the European Rail Train Management System, or ERTMS, is now checking all failsafes so that the train can transition into ETCS Level 2 and that the route ahead is clear. At the next Belize group, the train then receives confirmation from the RBC that the transition into ETCS Level 2 is ready. This is confirmed by the appearance of the Level 2 transition announcement icon displayed on the DMI. At this stage, no action is required. Just prior to entering the ETCS Level 2 area, the Level 2 Transition Acknowledgement icon flashes. This must be acknowledged by pressing the flashing Level 2 Transition Acknowledgement icon on the DMI, or by pressing the ETCS Acknowledge button on the cab desk. Once acknowledged, the Level 2 Transition Acknowledgement icon stops flashing and then displays the Level 2 Transition Announcement icon. If the Level 2 Transition Acknowledgement icon is not acknowledged within 5 seconds, the brakes will apply and the train will be brought to a stand. Company instructions must then be followed. Adjacent to the track, at the ETCS Level 2 operational boundary, you will find a start of cab signalling board. This board indicates the start of ERTMS signalling. After successfully transitioning into ETCS Level 2, a Level 2 icon will appear on the DMI. The planning area will also show your maximum movement authority, and the National System Mode icon will have changed to the Full Supervision Mode icon. The train is now being driven in ETCS Level 2, Full Supervision Mode. If already braking for an end of authority, Stop the train safely in line with your company driving policy.